So guys, today what we actually have here is um, it's a sneak peek at Vega, um, AMD Radeon Vega 56 actually. Um, as you can see, we're actually going to be pitching the Vega 56, which is in that system there. It's a little too dark, but I'll get you a closer later on. We, uh, they, we have Vega 56 in that system and um, we have, uh, of course, uh, its challenger or should we say we have its competition in this system right here on on the left and um, that has a GTX 1070. It's actually a Galax GTX 1070. It's not even a... Uh, it's not even the Founders Edition card, so obviously running a little bit faster than your average 1070. Uh, we're actually running uh, Firestrike uh, Extreme uh, or Firestrike Ultra, actually. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, we're running Firestrike Ultra, and this is we're gonna actually see what both these cards are capable of. Now, the hardware in both the systems, I must say, is identical. We have. Um, 1800X is in both the systems. We have the Asus Crosshair 6 Hero in both the systems. We have the same coolers. We have the the same memory, which is G-Skill. I mean, it's overkill. We've got the 4266 CL19 you know, Trident ZRGB kits from G-Skill. Um, the only difference here mm -hmm. is that one system is running Vega and one system is running the 1070. And when I say Vega, this is Vega. This is Vega 56. It's not. It's not the full-blown Vega 64. So what you have here is, well, we're actually cruising through the benchmark. Um, Vega is actually noticeably faster, as you can see right here. It's already crunching through, it's already crunching through quite a bit um, ahead, you know, in terms of just sheer frames rendered. So things are actually looking very good for Vega 56 at, at this point. Again, there's no hanky-panky. Both these systems have actually been set up by us. Um, so there's absolutely no tweaks involved here. There's no real, there's no cheats, nothing. Both the cards are running absolutely stock. Systems have been overclocked to four gigahertz and the memory has been pushed to 3200 megahertz and it's been pushed to CL15. Well, CL16, 15, 15, but um, nothing major. This is what just about every 1700X, 1800X user should be able to accomplish on their systems as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is just, it's just blowing through the benchmarks. Vega 56 is looking to be quite the powerhouse. Now, uh, also, it's got, it's got eight gigs of HBM too, just like your 1070. It's, uh, it's obviously lesser uh, in terms of shaders versus the full blown uh, Vega XTX or the Vega 64. So yeah, I mean, for a cutdown card that's actually supposed to battle against the 1070, become uh, you know it's uh, your mainstream, uh, uh, it's your mainstream card actually. It's not what you'd pitch against something like a 1080. We have uh, we have Vega 64 for that. But so I mean this card's actually geared to be the mainstream gaming king, and in terms of uh, the power it has, like it has absolutely no issues running 2560 by 1440 or 2560 by 1600 absolutely none the cards got more than enough brute force to run this you can play every game maxed out like we've actually been testing a little bit of those of, of that and um it's got more than enough run so when you actually think about it uh yeah vega's looking extremely impressive now as you can see we've got 4400 uh 4471 on the 1070 rig and we actually have are you ready for this we have on the on the vega are you ready guys are you ready we have 5373 if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know then well i don't know what does so yeah vega is quite quite the monster this was fire strike ultra and we'll be back with some more benchmarks and some more gameplay but this kind of just you know, shows you what Vega 56 is capable of. All right, guys. Cheers.